Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the execute pipeline in Azure Data Factory. The execute pipeline activity allows a data factory or Synapse pipeline to invoke another pipeline. So with the help of the execute pipeline we can invoke any other pipeline. For taking example, suppose I am working in any of the pipeline and I already have a other pipeline which is available. Suppose one of the pipeline which is doing a copy activity, I have another pipeline which is doing a delete activity like that I have a multiple pipelines available so with the current pipeline if you want to invoke any other pipeline so you can use the execute pipeline so that is the simple use case let me show you with the example suppose in Azure Data Factory you can see I have one of the pipeline one which is doing a set variable I have another pipeline which is doing a delete activity so let's see how actually we can use a execute pipeline so for that you have to go into the general you can see execute pipeline activity we have you can give any name here description you can pass go to the setting setting you can see we have an option invoked pipeline so if here you will see you can see pipeline 1 pipeline 2 suppose you want to invoke pipeline 1 so if you will click here and uh, after that if you will uh, debug that particular pipeline will get invoked you can see wait on completion so if you will unmark this you want to wait we want to wait like pipeline one should be completed then only the other execution should happen then you have to tick mark this otherwise you can unmark this suppose here I have a multiple things suppose I, I am having a multiple scenario like this okay get meta and after that I copy activity is happening so what does wait on completion means so we are invoking pipeline one also whether you want to run uh, parallelly this get metadata and other activity with this pipeline one or you want to wait for the completion so that is the meaning so we will not uh, tick mark and after that so that is the simple use case so with this what actually will happen it will try to trigger the pipeline one let me debug it you can see it executed the pipeline one and the pipeline one got executed you can see this is the pipeline run and uh, this actually got executed so yeah that's it the simple use case i hope you got the idea that's it.